Welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all having a blessed day today. I decided to do a fun look. Yes, we've done many variations of teal and brown. It's just one of my favorite combos and I am so ready for spring. I cannot wait for warmer weather and this look is just like springtime to me. We're using a Beauty Glaze Uranus palette which is a dupe for Huda Beauty's Emerald palette and then the Natasha Denona Mini Nude. So I always prime my lids. Today I'm using Milani Eyeshadow Primer. I have Powder to Catch Fallout. And first we're going in with the Natasha Denona palette. And I'm picking up the lightest shade in that palette. And that is just like a skin tone shade. But on more of the warmer side. Basically it's like an orangey nude skin tone kind of shade. And I'm just popping that in the crease for a transition. I'm doing it messily like always with a fluffy blending brush. Or just placing that. And bringing it up towards the brow. And this is going to set for our outer corner and additional crease colors. I'm using the Sassy and Chic eyeshadow switching sponge to clean my brush off and I'm using the darkest shade in the Natasha Denona palette in my outer corner. So I'm kind of windshield wipering that in the crease and that is going in the outer corner, like I said, I'm kind of stamping it in the outer corner and then in the crease, I am just windshield wipering that in back and forth. And you'll be able to tell that I'm placing this shade slightly lower than the first shade we placed. So we get that nice faded ombre effect. Once again, cleaning off my brush. This sponge is fantastic. They also have one from AOA Studio. Only a dollar. Very good, great products to minimize your brush use and also great for travel so we're doing a little bit of blending there um, adding some more additional color to our crease and we'll just continue to blend as we go now this is the Maybelline color tattoo in VIP and I'm using this as a secondary base I'm applying that all over my lid space that has no shade on it and then I'm kind of cutting the crease this is not as stark and dramatic as a regular cut crease is done but I wanted that cut crease kind of effect so make sure you have a thin layer of that blend any secondary base out you use and next up we're taking that beauty glaze palette and this shade is just a matte minty teal shade very beautiful shade highly pigmented unfortunately it's kind of powdery and there's fallout with this shade but it's so beautiful this shade definitely needed some help sticking to the lid so that's why I done the secondary base we're gonna go in we're gonna wipe our brush off and the next shade is also from that palette and you can tell it's a darker till shade it's a darker till shade and I'm applying that with the same flat shader brush but in the rest of the free space on the lid and it's going right next to the matte till we used and against our outer corner shade and we're going to place that and build it up first you'll see me go back in and blend so I'm going to go in between both of those shades the two blue shades and blend them together then I'm going to take the outer corner shade I'm going to add a bit more color to the brush and then I'm going to blend that with that darker teal shade. I just love how this come out. Um, I like that it fades off into this darker kind of teal as well. And we just have those nice browns. I love everything about this look. I hope you guys will enjoy it too. Try it out for yourselves. This is the NYX Single Eyeshadow and Highlight. It's literally just a basic highlighter shade. Nothing special. It's just neither of the palettes I was using had a highlighter in them. So we're applying that to the brow bone and we're blending it down against the edges of our look. We're wiping away our fallout. We're tight lining the upper rim with the Jordana 12 hour pencil and we're just doing this so our lashes will look fuller and we don't have a stark space in between our lashes and our water lines. So this is the NYX eyeliner pencil until and it's fairly light it does work 
good but so i'm taking the lightest shade we applied to the lid and i'm gonna set that eyeliner it's not as bright and vibrant as i would like so doing this or using a white eyeliner in any shade you want to apply it on there will work we're using the shade we used the first shade we used in the crease we're using that on our lower lash line as well This is the Clinique High Impact Mascara. After we're done applying our mascara, here's our finished look. Okay. For lips, big surprise, I am using 920 Nude Lust from Maybelline. I literally just tried to do a DDP diamond cutter on camera. Failed. It is what it is. <laughs> and there is our completed finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the makeup look as much as me we'll try it out for yourself i hope you found the video helpful hopefully you took something from it thank you so very much for watching don't forget to like the video comment subscribe ring the bell if you haven't already check the description box for additional information like a product list what's on my nails other additional links all that fun stuff that you might be wondering about so i thank you so very much again for watching stay tuned for more videos like this